for the inside word and we're joined on the telephone line by Russ Langer. He's the play by play voice of the Las Vegas 51s, the Mets AAA affiliate. And let's begin, Russ, uh, for a moment here on Ahmed Rosario. A lot of hype in this town about Ahmed Rosario when we might see him here. You see him on a daily and a nightly basis. Fill us in on how he's handling all the hype surrounding him. I think, Gary, he's handling it pretty well. He goes about his business every day, works hard, and gets everything in that he needs to get in, uh, regardless of what it is that he's working on. And it doesn't seem to affect his approach. I think that he is a very level-headed young man who works hard. And so I don't think that uh, that's been a big factor. Does he, in your eyes, live up to the hype? I think so. I, certainly defensively, he's as good as anybody if I've seen play that position at this level in a long time. The fellow with the Brewers, uh, uh, or Orlando Arcia last year, was in our league at Colorado Springs. Uh, comparable defensively, but Rosario's got it all going defensively and, on, and offensively. He's got a very quick bat. He's got some sting in his bat with occasional power. He's quick. He can steal the occasional base. Uh, he's coming off a little bit of a slump. He's uh, one for 13 in his last uh, series which is the, the, the worst series that he's had this year. But uh, he's, a, he, he's a fellow who can hit to the opposite field. He can hit line drives. Uh, he can, he's always hustling and uh, plays the game very, very hard. Russ, when it comes to his strike zone discipline, that had been something that the Mets were keeping a close eye on, felt like it was something he needed to work on. Where is he along those lines right now? I think he's coming along, Gary. I don't think he's right where he needs to be, uh, where the Mets would really like but I think he's working on that. He's trying to get a little better at it. The thing that, the thing more so than, than strike zone discipline, I think that he probably needs some work on is hitting off speed stuff. I know when teams come after him with with uh, with decent curveballs and good change ups and things like that, that can keep him off balance a little bit. So he's got to learn to hit a little more a sophisticated level of pitching. I think if you make a mistake to him with it, with anything, whether it's soft stuff or hard stuff. Uh, in the strike zone, he can punish you regardless of what quadrant of the strike zone the pitch happens to be in. Let's turn our attention to Dominic Smith. He's got seven home runs this year. I know the Mets would like to see him increase his power. When you look at those seven home runs, are they a result of playing in the Pacific Coast League? I think it's less about the PCL, Gary Moore. He, he's more of a line drive type hitter. I mean, he'll get under one once in a while. But the, the thing about Dominic Smith is, on the power side, he, he will hit the ball to the opposite field. I mean, of his seven home runs, probably four of them have been hit the opposite way. And that's, that's pretty encouraging for a young man his age, 22, 23 years old. So I think that he is a line drive hitter who has occasional power and can drive the ball uh, to any part of the ballpark with authority. How has he looked against lefties? He hasn't looked as good against lefties as righties as you might expect for a young left-handed hitter playing in AAA for the first time. He's against lefties. He's in the 250s. But, uh, again, he's an excellent fastball hitter, lefty or righty. And, again, uh, in one, the one similarity that I would offer up with Dominic Smith uh, as compared to Ahmed Rosario, again, hitting better pitching, more sophisticated pitch sequences and off-speed stuff, slow curveballs, change-ups that are properly placed. Uh, that's something that he needs to work on as well. But uh, he's shown very well so far in the first half of the year. We've heard a lot about his defense. Uh, soft hands, quick feet. Assess his defense for us. That's exactly how I would describe him. He has soft hands, quick feet. He's got decent range for a big guy. You look at Dominic Smith and you think, well, this isn't the ideal body for an athlete. But this guy is very agile. And uh, he is a, he's a joy to watch. He's a, at, at this level, at least, he's a gold club a gold glove, a caliber first baseman, no doubt. It is Russ Langer. He's the play-by-play -play voice of the Las Vegas 51s. We thank you for spending a few minutes with us, Russ. Gary, my pleasure. Thank you.